Hi friends, welcome to Introducing. My name is Irina and I work for the National Portrait Gallery, where we share the stories of people who have helped shape the United States. Each week for Introducing, we shine a light on some of this country's history makers and their portraits. Just like reading a book, looking at a portrait can tell a story too. This week, I want to introduce you to Clara Barton. And this is her portrait. This is a black and white photograph by the photographer Matthew Brady. In this portrait, we see Clara Barton looking into the camera. Her mouth is closed. Her hair is pulled back and she has one of her arms bent. And it maybe looks like the hand is resting on her hip or her lap. We can even see her last name, Barton, written at the top. For me, the part of this photograph that stands out the most is Clara Barton's dress. The corset-like style of the dress has large buttons running up and down the middle and a lace-like collar around her neck with a small round pendant below. How do you think it might feel to wear this dress? Would it be heavy or light? Do you think it would be comfortable to wear? Clara Barton lived over 160 years ago. Have you seen anyone wear a dress like this today? Clara Barton's first job was a teacher. She taught in a one-room schoolhouse in Massachusetts before traveling south to Washington, D.C. to work at the U.S. Patent Office. It's a building now the home of the National Portrait Gallery. During Clara Barton's time with the U.S. Patent Office, the Civil War broke out. The American Civil War is a four-year war between the southern half of the United States and the northern half of the United States. During the first few months of the Civil War, many wounded soldiers came to Washington, D.C. to be treated and cared for. Clara Barton saw this and she knew she wanted to help out. She cared for the soldiers who were wounded, provided them with food if they were hungry, and helped them find a place to sleep at night, as many of these soldiers were away from their homes. Clara Barton also helped soldiers with their uniforms and other clothing needs. She worked tirelessly to care for the soldiers. And when the need for more care and medical supplies grew, she rallied her friends and the public together to supply additional relief. Clara Barton not only worked to care for the soldiers physically, but she also offered soldiers personal support. To keep their spirits high, she often kept the soldiers company. Clara Barton read to them, she wrote letters to their family and friends when they couldn't, and she listened to their stories. How do you care for a friend when they are feeling down or unwell? Do you read to them or keep them company? On the battlefield, Clara Barton worked as a nurse to assist with the wounded soldiers and bring them any supplies that she could. Sometimes she would even arrive on the scene before the medical team could get there. After the Civil War, Clara Barton helped families find their loved ones who had gone missing. A few years later, Clara Barton visited Europe and was introduced to the Red Cross. The Red Cross is a worldwide organization that works to help people during times of disasters and war. Inspired by the Red Cross in Europe, Clara Barton came home and founded the Red Cross of the United States. She served as its first president for the following 23 years. And this past May, the American Red Cross turned 140 years old. 
Clara Barton believed that everyone deserved to be helped regardless of their gender, race, or economic status. And today, her legacy lives on. So friends, thank you so much for listening to Introducing This Week, and we hope to see you right back here next week for another one.